Hi, Dirty Girl here with another haul video plus a special feature. I have another video of Sally, my mother-in-law. Many of you have asked when she was going to return and she's been going through a very difficult time. Her partner, her, since she's been with, since the mid-1980s they've been together, uh, and he's just a little bit older than she is, ha had a stroke and he's really been uh, his rehabilitation is going very slow, but he's not able to speak. He's able to do a lot of other things. He can walk and talk and eat, I mean, walk and eat and everything, but he can't speak. And it's just been very, very, very frustrating and difficult for them. So uh, I haven't wanted to, you know, push her to do anything unnecessary. But uh, she expressed some interest, you know, when I brought it up. And uh, she seemed quite willing to do it and very comfortable in front of the camera. So. We have a little uh, a little haul video from Sally, and then I'm gonna show you what I got at the rummage sale. Also, so I'll be back soon. There, so, I couldn't. It was a dollar, <laughs> and I couldn't pass it by. Now. Here, this nice, um, I don't know whether that's machine embroidery. I think that's machine embroidery. But anyway, it's nice. I like it. And it. I like birds. I like orange. I've always liked orange <laughs> since I was a little girl. And ooh, ooh, the jewelry. Here we go. It's not a big bag of jewelry today. Okay. Aha. <sighs> Sterling silver earrings. And they just have a hole I paid $12 for them. They have a whole lot written on the back of them, but I would have to, oh, pass me that magnifying glass, and I will think I'll hope I'll be able to read it. It says moon cat. Does it say moon cat? It does. It says moon cat laurel birch. Okay, moon cat. Oh, well, that's nice, a moon cat. And both Karen and I tried this, these pearls out with the tooth test. And they're not glass pearls. Glass pearls uh, just go glide on your teeth and you have a feel a little that they have a little their surface is not perfectly glassy <laughs> perfectly glassy all right now here oh <laughs> I hope I'll like this teapot it was three dollars so I think that's a very nice buy, and I I make tea every morning, so uh, I like my current teapot, but it's it's got a bad chip in the spout. So I don't. I thought it was time to try something new. And. Ha ha! Here is. Well, I have a lot of teacups, but I thought this was particularly interesting. And it says Susan Wilkinson on, the, on it, and I don't know who Susan is, but she's pretty good at what she does. 
and I don't know whether I can put this in the microwave. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, just have to test it and see if it, it probably won't break, but it might heat up. Oh, okay. Well, it's we'll pretty. See. Yeah, do you like it? Oh, yeah. It's pretty. All right. Okay. So, there I spent jewelry $22. 12 for the earrings and 10 for the necklace. That's not for me. That's for a young person to wear. So, we have a lot of young women in our family and people we love. Uh, and I spent a dollar for the cup and it says 17, I imagine that's the year. Mm. And I spent, I think it was three dollars and I didn't feel this about, but it's, it's not. And this one says, says a lot of things. It says Kensington, Price Kensington, and there's a sort of a picture on it. Okay. I don't know what that means. I don't either, but I'll look it up. <laughs> yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll rinse it out with boiling water and, and uh, try it out. So that's not, let's see, the jewelry was, we, I think we, I said $22. 22 23 24 and three dollars for the two the tea pot 27 dollars and how much was the pillow oh was that four dollars i think it was four or five yeah uh -huh. I, that's what i yeah that's the way i remember it four dollars and that's really nice and so i like that so we've, we've already found a chair. My daughter-in-law, Karen, found a, a chair that I have that this pillow fits on. And we don't know who these will go for, but the Moon Cat, that's a lovely name. I like that. I may wear them a little couple of times. Moon cat. <laughs> Moon cat. Thank okay. you. Okay, thank you. I don't, I have never heard of this Price Kensington, have you? No, I haven't. Hey, Muffin. You ready to go home? No, you're not ready to go home. You like it here. You like it here. There. Okay, I'm back, and I am going to show you what I got at the rummage sale. It's just a few things, not like when I go to a flea market. Just, um, but I did find some pretty cool stuff. And I only have two pieces of jewelry, but they're really neat. This, I think, is just adorable. It's a little cloisonne fish. And he's articulated. It's like a koi fish. And uh, it's, it's quite old because this bale is marked just silver. And the bale is squashed a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. But there it is. And, uh, but I just thought he was adorable. He's in really good condition. And I paid $5 for that. And then the second piece I got is this sterling silver pendant and I think that's probably amber I haven't tested it yet but um, it looks like it could be and it's just marked 925 so but I thought that was a really pretty little pendant even if it's just glass it's nice and I paid what I think that eight dollars for that and okay let me just show you the other stuff let me show you this before I forget it isn't that pretty? This is for me. I'm keeping this. It's a it's a kind of thick 
um, fuzzy, nice warm little vest with this Chinese silk, or it looks like, I don't know, it was made in Alaska. It was made by Invisible World, Juno, Alaska. So, um, since I'm always cold, I thought that would be a nice thing for me to have. And then I got this. This I did not get at the rummage sale. This was something that Sally was giving away. And I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> So, yeah, this is a sari. And it's just yards and yards and yards of silk. And it's so pretty. Look at this beautiful border it has. Just, I mean, look at this. So now I have to watch a YouTube video on how to wrap a sari and see if I can wrap my mannequin for taking pictures of it. Isn't that something? Here's the end. It's, you know, it has a little bit of wear, but not, it's, I don't see any stains or like tears in the middle of it. The corners seem to be just a little bit worn, but not bad, not bad at all. I don't even, she doesn't know where she got it or what she was doing with it. She had no idea. Uh, okay, so back to the rummage sale. I got this little uh, carved soapstone, I think this is. And it's just really nicely done. It's probably from China. It's not marked. Uh, but maybe it's a little uh, incense burner. But it was only $2. So cute. And uh, this is a solid copper tray. This is, you know, maybe a mid-century piece. It says solid copper made in USA. No company name on it. It's got a little thing for hanging right there. And it does have some uh, marks on it, but they seem to be coming right off. So, and that was three dollars. Uh, I got a little Vera Newman scarf. That's a later one, probably uh, 70s, maybe, maybe even 80s. I'm not sure. I always have to review my knowledge of the Vera Marks, but I know it's not an early one. But it's cute. I thought it was cute. And it was only $2. And then some of you will recognize this as a Korok tray with the inlaid wood design. I thought this was a particularly cute one. It says uh, Kurok, Monterey, California. Um, it had some kind of a sticky label that's gone now. It's in kind of rough shape, but not, I don't see any like major damages, like no huge scratches or chips or anything. And um, these will shine up really nicely with furniture polish, like um, Murphy's Oil Soap. It'll, it'll look good as new when I polish it up. And here's the good news. There's a big one with more kitties. Aren't these adorable? So cute. Two dollars for that, one dollar for the little one. And um, there's probably going to be hard for you to see that, but that's what the mark looks like. Correct. And I haven't, I haven't looked these up lately, but I know that they, um, they sell for good money. I've sold several of them before. At least a couple, anyway. And I got these two uh, wood carvings. There's Little Whale. And these were, this one was $2. And it's just a, a carved wooden whale on a stand. And there's Big Whale. Really pretty wood. Now, I have no idea where or when these were made, but there's a label on the bottom, and you can tell by looking at the label that it's old. You know, I would say that's 1960s or earlier. And then there's a screw that holds this base into place, and it's a rusty flathead screw. So uh, I'm thinking these could be kind of old. Um, have, haven't done any research. I have no idea even what kind of wood it is or what, but I just thought it was really nicely done and for a good price. Couldn't resist it. 
Uh, and I think that is everything from the rummage sale. And I just have one more thing to show you. And that's that um, my husband and I went to a charcoal still life drawing class. It was just a one-time one class uh, given at the, our little local museum of art, which we've joined recently. And so this one is one that my husband did. And he is, has no interest in doing art, but he really is talented. We went to a figure drawing class one time, and I was like, oh my gosh, I mean, he was, he was really good. <laughs> so this one was his also. And we were just practicing. We were just kind of learning techniques in this class, so it wasn't meant to produce finished art. And this one was mine. I really liked the vase. I liked how that turned out. That was the last thing I did in the class. Um, you can tell my, my drawing style is much more tight and controlled. His is much more free-flowing. And then this is the last one I did. That's my apple. I really like how that turned out. This is just okay. <laughs> but... We had a lot of fun. We're going to, they have these classes like every month or so. We're going to start going and just taking art classes just for fun. And the next one we're doing is um, linoleum printing, so that'll be fun. We'll see what, what, what we can come up with for that. Um, okay, that is all I have to show you. And these items that you've seen are or soon will be for sale in my Etsy shop at vintagedazzle.etsy.com. Actually, because I'm going to post this video now instead of putting it in the queue and having it show up months later, so uh, things may not be posted on Etsy yet because I'm behind. But let me know if there's something you're interested in and I can, um, we can work something out, okay? Uh, thanks. See you soon. Uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. Okay, bye.